<laughs> well, I've still got 85 gigabytes of space left for my computer, Mademoiselle Eleanor, who were. Got to be shocking, eh? Just to play this too. I love music. for the hardest workers. Well, what, a, what an extraordinary discovery, I say. Sodding cat, you leave my sparrows alone. <laughs> I've seen him once. I feel responsible because I'm feeding them here. Yeah? It's like I'm, you know, providing him for with food. I know it's nature, and he's got to live too. And a clever cat, he just comes over. I call him Sylvester, as in treaty time, Sylvester. And his mouth was off, man, just quick as a... There's a fat cat next door, wouldn't... <laughs> She's well-fed at home, <laughs> next door neighbour one. One who does the flowers, the lady. Don't like this music. Now, what's next? Nothing, basically. Acres of nothing. No one loves you, my lord. That's the problem. Okay. Let's say I had a squillion pounds now. I've always had basically plenty enough of money. And the same dilemma. What are they saying? What to be happy? You need the Aston Martin parked up, a house worth 1.6 million, a wife and 2.1 children. <sighs> what a load of twaddle. Absolute twaddle. Oh, God. Don't people talk, talk the most humongous rubbish. What you need to be happy is to put God first in the depths of your being. You see? And then all shall be well, and all manner of things shall be well. That's what you need. The material stuff is immaterial. If you lose an arm or an eye or a leg or, you know, this man I listened to, he had a motor neuron disease. He lost everything. He could still see and hear and he had his brain work, but his total physical function was completely destroyed. Yet he still found the courage to live. Sadly, he didn't believe in God. Like Stephen Hawking, so the Hawking's king's... The physicist fellow. Again, Hawking, I think, he doesn't believe in God, which is sad. <laughs> Make journey a thousand miles, start away with our first our step our, to love a God. Uh, then you'll be happy. Joy is not just happy. Joy, there's agony and ecstasy, but joy in loving you, my lord. 